this is the truth is full of lies and I got some bold statements coming from China right now take a look China says that they need because of this US dollar shutdown or debt shut crisis that they need a de-americanized world order this is no joke <clears throat> With days to go before the United States debt default deadline, Beijing aired its frustrations with the sh shutdown Sunday, saying it was time to consider a de-Americanized world order, a new world order. Do you understand that? With $1.28 in the U.S. Treasuries, China is easily the biggest foreign holder of American debt. China has funneled billions of dollars into the into private American investments to tune of the of an estimated 54 billion in 2012 alone. Now I want to stop right there because many of you don't do not understand this. China is buying up land in our country. They are buying up corporations in our country. They and and take a look at this. Idaho is basically owned by China, and so are other states. And take a look. Dashing Pacific Group, which has already purchased nearby, the nearby docks restaurant complex for $2.15 million, put its $3.8 million offer to buy the southern 69 acres of the Mariana District in East Toledo back on the table for, uh, for approval by the Toledo City Council. Additionally, Dashing Pacific Chairman Yon Exohong in a letter signed in Hangzhou, said the firm wants to wants a two-year option to buy the decommissioned Toledo Edison power plant. Even more disturbing is what's going on happening in Texas recently. The Chinese have been gobbling up our oil and gas fields. The following is a quote from one local Texas news source, uh, source about one of these deals. State-owned Chinese energy giant CNOOC is buying a multi-billion dollar stake in 600,000 acres of South Texas oil and gas fields, potentially testing the political waters for further expansion of U.S. energy reserves. With the announcement Monday that it would pay $2.2 billion for a one-third stake of the Chesapeake Energy Assets, CNOOC, lays claim to the share of properties that eventually could produce up to half a, billion, half a million barrels a day of oil equivalent. Now this is coming two, two years ago. This has been under the radar. No one has been talking about it. This China National Offshore Oil Company has been buying up oil and gas assets all over the globe. Remember, everyone knows they're doing it in Africa. No one knows they're doing it here in the United States. They seem to have an insatiable appetite for them. There is not much we can do about what's going on in other countries, but when we allow foreigners to buy up our precious oil and gas assets, shouldn't that set off national security red flags? Now politicians are too concerned about real national security issues anyway. They just keep telling us that we will be just fine as long as we allow the TSA to grope our wives, our children, and the elderly. Getting back on topic, shouldn't we be alarmed that someday soon we might be importing foreign oil that is pumped out of Texas land. It is almost virtually all of our politicians have lost all common sense. The following is a description of the project in an article from the a Idaho statesman. A Chinese national company is interested in developing a 10,000 to 30,000 acre technology zone for industry retail centers and homes in the south of Boyas Airport. 30,000 is close to 50 square miles. 
That's a huge chunk of territory. Fortunately, it appears that the deal is stalled for at least for a moment for the moment. But that could change at any time, especially considering the fact that the governor of Idaho is pushing for Chinese investment. The following is a quote from Boy's lobbyist Pat Sullivan. One thing these Chinese see is that we have a governor here who has a great open door policy. One thing you people should un I'm going to stop here. One thing you people should understand is that the Chinese government owns or regulates every business in some way, shape, or form. That's what you should understand. So all these companies f that are buying up land, that's the Chinese government buying up land, and that's the New World Order buying up land. Do you understand this? An open letter from the Idaho Governor Butch about Project 60. Project 60, 60 is just the name, but stands for a goal and a way of getting there. It, it means more than an abstract concept of for increasing our gross domestic product. It means jobs and opportunity. Okay. Hope and independence for the people of Idaho. That's what I want you to think about when you hear about Project 60. Well, I'm thinking about foreigners taking over the country. This is an initiative in which we all need to be involved to build Idaho's economy together in ways that strengthen our businesses, people, and communities. No state or local agency, no government, or any kind of successful tackle this goal alone. Project 60 belongs to all of us, and it needs all of us champions in this effort. Today we invite Project to you to be a Project 60 partner. Yes, the Chinese state-owned companies would probably hire a small number of Idaho citizens, but as I have written previously, the idea would be for a special economic zones to be set up in the United States that would be very similar to the special economic zones inside China. Wikipedia defines special economic zones as a special economic zone is a geographical region that has economic and other laws that are more free market oriented than the country's typical and national laws, nationwide laws that may be suspended in a special economic zone. So the United States of America is basically going to be like Hong Kong. I don't know if you guys want that or not, but I don't want to be under the control of communists. So you guys really need to pay attention to this. Now back to the original topic. You, as U.S. politicians, uh, both political parties are still shuffling back and forth to the White House and Capitol without striking a viable deal to bring normality to the body politic they brag about. It is perhaps a good time for the befuddled world to start considering building a de-Americanized world, according to the stinging op-ed article by State News Agency. This is exactly what's happening when Britain gave up their power to the United States. It's, history repeats itself. Here. Days when the destinies of others are in the hands of a hypocritical nation have to be terminated, and a new world order should be put in place, according to, to which all nations, big or small, poor or rich, can have their key interests respected and protected on equal footing. You know uh, what's good for each nation and what's good for the world? what's good for that nation and what's good for that individual. It's what's good. Vice Finance Minister Zong Zhong Yo noted only that we have to see that the clock is ticking.
people need to wake up. For average, the Chinese people, the budget crisis is a show that we've only that we've seen it before. We also know that it's not only the United States that we are relying on. We have a lot of other investments. And here's another article. This one's coming out more recently. U.S. debt crisis spurs Chinese calls for de-Americanized world. As the clock ticks down to a possible U.S. debt default this week. The crisis shows that China and the rest of the world should start to de-Americanize according to the a strongly worded commentary from the Exua News Agency, China's leading government controlled news outlet. The world is still crawling its way out of a economic disaster thanks to the war curious Wall Street elites. In commentaries, the commentary said, such alarming days when the destinies of others are in the hands of hypocritical nation have been have to be terminated. The congressmen are behaving irresponsibly, not only for the for other countries but also for the United States. Own creditors said Mia Exua at the Chinese Academy for International Trade and Economic Cooperation, which has ties to the Commerce Ministry. They are gambling the U.S. future on the, their political struggle interests. Others, such as Zhao Exzhan, Deputy Dean at Beijing's Remnant University School of Finance, has gone further. Well, he likens Congress to kidnappers holding global investment for ransom. The two political parties in the U.S. have disregarded the interests of the rest of their country and the world, he said. China is the largest foreign holder of U.S. Treasury bonds, which with, with about $1.28 trillion. Although holdings have declined slightly in the absolute terms in the past years and more sharply as the proportionate of total reserves in the past decade. Meanwhile, Japan, the second largest holder of U.S. debt with about $1.14 trillion, has expressed similar concerns. The U.S. must avoid a situation where it cannot pay its triple. A ranking plunges all of a sudden. Japan's finance minister, Tara Aso, said last week, uh, One thing you guys should understand, both China and Japan are controlled by the Illuminati. They've both been infiltrated by Maltese Knights and by Freemasons. Okay? For China, the U.S. default could mean a shock to China's assets, effects on its currency issuing and exchange rate functions fluctuations, May said. Reaction in China's financial world, however, has stopped well short of panic, with many believing that the la that last-minute negotiations will defuse the crisis. But that doesn't mean there isn't anger, Chinese experts said. Chinese leaders have remained unreserved reserved in their official comments last week. Vice Finance Minister Zhong Yongya noted that the clock is ticking, and Chinese Premier Li Keqiang said China is paying great attention. But the frustration within within China has encouraged further discussion about measures measures such as diversifying the country's holdings. Sunday's Exxon opinion opinion piece pushed for establishing a new international reserve currency, a new world currency, to replace the dominant U.S. dollar, so that the international community 
could permanently stay away from the spillover of intensifying domestic political turmoil in the United States. But, in rea but the reality, many here acknowledge, is that the United States and China are exordantly intertwined. For all the talk of de-Americanization, moving away from the U.S. dollar anytime soon is unlikely. China experts say, well, if we default on our dollar, I don't think it's that unlikely. The manufactured political nature of looming debt crisis, however, has flummoxed many here, who has struggling to understand what appear to them as self-inflicted wounds by U.S. leaders. If the U.S. debt default happens, China and other investors will face great risks in their dollar-dominated assets. Zhao said, but I think it will hurt the U.S. itself most. A debt default will only cause a sharp fall in U.S. credibility. So therefore, they're trying to create a world order. Well, they're scaring us, one, saying the whole world economy is going to collapse. And they're saying that we need to create a world order and a world currency so this does not happen. Now, I'm not going to pretend I know what's going on here because I have no idea what's going on here. But these are some bold statements coming out from China saying that we need a new world order. Okay? Get to know this. China owns our country. China has been building up assets in our country, have been building, buying up land, as I showed you here. And there's UN troops all over the country right now. Keep your eyes open. I have no idea what is going on with China right now, but keep your eyes open.